okay 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 here we go so trying something new Duncan has a brand new kind of hot breakfast thing going on it is called the Epanada and this is what it looks like y'all it is a sausage egg and cheese Epanada and the strange thing is I was just <laughs> I was just thinking that this is what Starbucks needs to do, but I was thinking they needed to do beignets or, um, you know, something like this. Some, you know, add something else to the menu. But lo and behold, I tried Dunkin' for something different. Normally, I do uh, Starbucks, and I just said, well, you know, I'll go try Dunkin' Donuts. It's new to our area, and I want to give it a shot. And lo and behold, they got... This pretty decent size hot epanada. Epanadas are usually um, something that you can find in uh, certain cultures. It's like a hot pocket, I was what I would call it, or a um, it's better than a hot pocket because it's like a, a pastry or a crust of a pie. So the flavor of the pastry is more like a crust of a pie, and it's um, I've seen them. Like I said, I've seen. Uh, I like the Jamaican beef patties. That's like a crust of a pie, and and that's with the you know that's what the Jamaicans call it with the beef in them. Uh, so the Caribbeans or the they all have different names for it. Epanada, I think, is more of a Hispanic term, uh, Mexican term, and this one is stuffed with eggs, cheese, and sausage. But it's that same crust style. I'm not gonna say it's the same flavor of the crust of the epi of the. Um, Jamaican uh, beef patties or the uh, oxtail patties or you know they're different ones like I said you have they're different ones in different cultures and the, and the strangest thing is as a child growing up my mom would make a flatbread uh, you, you made it with the same uh, recipe that you did biscuits but except for except for you didn't bake them in the oven you you would press the dough out and fry it on both sides press it out flat about the size of a pancake but you would it wouldn't taste it's nothing like a pancake but it would be like flat bread is what it would be called and we used to have that back in the uh, in the 80s uh, that was that was cooked all the time in our home it was a flat bread fried on both sides and you could use it for whatever um, but we would have it with our dinners this is an empanada again it's at Dunkin Donuts so if you need something hot quick handheld while you're driving down the road uh, try the Dunkin Donuts brand new Epanada so we're gonna get into it what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break a piece I'm supposed to be getting off meat honestly I want to stop eating meat because these animals are so smart now <laughs> they got little personalities <laughs> anyway but it's stuffed I don't know if you can see that look at there it is stuffed and you see that light and flaky crust that light and flaky pie style crust. So again, this is an empanada. It's uh, sausage, egg, and cheese. All right, here we go. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I tried just the crust without any meat. That is delicious. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -mm. Now, no doubt going to a bakery and having one freshly made would be delicious, but you know what? This is good. This is good, y'all. This is good. This is hot and good. So, stop by Dunkin' Donuts. Get your favorite iced coffee. Get your favorite sparked in an energy drink. I had one of those this week. I forgot to record it. They have peach and they have um, a berry flavor. It's got vitamins and minerals, and vitamins in it, and have a little bit of guarana. Guarana. They help energize you. That spark energy drink in this hot apanada. Mm, 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 mm. That would be a good, good, great, excellent, quick bite breakfast if that makes any sense 
no doubt nothing like a sit down scratch made chef made breakfast but if you need something quick and you're on the go and you're on the road this was $3.99 and it is good y'all the flavor is amazing oh my goodness <laughs> it's really good all right Dunkin Donuts I gotta give them credit for this one mm -mm -mm. gotta give them credit for this one I'm not really a I gotta give them credit for this one I'm, I'm a Krispy Kreme donut girl if that makes any sense there are some items within within the Dunkin Donuts donuts that I like. The Boston Cream Donut is amazing. Be free, be in Boston, you got it. The um, Bismarck is really good as well. The cinnamon powdered donuts are really good. I'm used to an all glazed donut and then you put the frosting on it. When I used to, to make donuts when I worked for a company years and years ago in my 20s, all of our donuts were first glazed to kind of, come, kind of stop that dryness and then we would frost them. Now they just frost them, they don't glaze them, and the only one that's glazed is the classic. But I have to say this Dunkin' Donuts right now, no negative. You know, everybody's got their own style. This is the way they do it. This is how we do it. You can't change anyone else's style. It is good, it's flavorful, I like it, I'll be back. So when I, you know, when you guys uh, wanna try something different, try Dunkin'. That's all I gotta say. And you know what else? Dunk everything in your life that is weighing you down. <laughs> Do the dunk and dunk. <laughs> anyway, y'all be blessed. Bye.